Hi hey guys, it's Stephen Niss and it's time for another Mac app review. Uh, today I'm going to be looking at a Mac app called Moom, which is some window management software. Now, I can't believe I'm going to say this in a Mac screencast, but any Windows 7 users will know that there's a feature that allows you to easily snap a window to the left, right or back to full screen. Now in Snow Leopard, there's no such technology available. You can use Expose or Spaces to help manage your windows but you can't easily snap back and forth to the left and the right to easily manage your documents. Now, let me just explain why that's good. For productivity, if you want to easily snap a website to the left and a document to the right, it makes it much quicker. You can easily view two or more documents on the screen, no problems at all. So, a lot of Mac developers wanted to develop an app to get around this problem and make that technology available within Mac itself. So, I've tried quite a few of these, and I have to say that since coming across Moom recently, it's been the best one I've found so far. So as you can see, I'm on the Moom website and there's a little demonstration going on of what the app can do. And that's what I'm going to show you now is basically what this app does. So with most of these applications, you'll get it to work by dragging the window to the left or the right and it will snap when you get within a certain region of space. Moom is a bit different and it moves all that control to the plus or zoom button on each application window and you will see that you can snap it to the left or you can snap the window to the right and again if you've got another window open for example reader I can snap that to the left using the zoom button and it lines up nicely next to my browser so it makes things really simple really easy to use but Moo actually gets a bit better than that it's fully customizable and has one really neat feature up its sleeve. Um, it's not enabled by default, so you need to go to the settings up in the menu bar for Moon. Again, you've got some control over the windows here, so you can move to right edge, move and zoom, uh, resize, etc. And you can customize all that, which I'll show you right now. You can go into the customization menu at the top and you can configure how you want certain things to zoom. So you can add your own ones if you want. You can add a center, a resize, move to corner, move and zoom, etc. Customize exactly where you want that window to appear or use this grid system at the bottom to actually decide how big that window is going to be once it's been resized. And now that's the neat feature I'm going to show you now. So if you go under to the mouse section and you can enable a thing called move and zoom grid. So tick that box and what that does is when you go to the plus you get this little grid here and this is your control over how to resize the window and I have to say it works fantastically so say for example I wanted to resize this window to the very top right of the screen top left of the screen even I simply click and drag highlighting those four squares or any of the squares if you want it's entirely up to you and it will then resize the window to that portion of the screen so let me show you that again so if I wanted to go right to the right hand side this time and deal with the right hand side click all those squares, let go and it resizes it to that screen. If you want to make it full screen from that window you just either click on this option up here or you can click and drag all over all the squares and it will go back to full screen. So it's as simple as that and as previously mentioned you can add customizations, different window sizes, different actions, keyboard shortcuts etc and set it up entirely how you want to set it up and I love it, it's a great application. So let's go back to the Many Tricks website. That's the developer that makes the app. As you can see, they do still offer a free trial, even though it's available in the Mac App Store now. It's available for $5, or if you're in the UK like me, that's $2.99, as you can see on the Mac App Store page. And I definitely recommend it. You may have tried others um, and think, you know, they're great, they do what you want it to do. But trust me, I think once you give this app a go, you're going to want to keep using it forever. So that's it for now. As always, if you've got any feedback or any apps you want me to look at, then please feel free to let me know. And I'll catch you later. Bye.